In today's video, we are going to be talking about the Green Terror Cichlid. And yes, I do have my daughter with. She is a fish fanatic as well. And uh, the Green Terror Cichlid is a magnificent uh, South American cichlid. Uh, let's, let's give you a look of a beautiful male right now. There's no denying how beautiful these fish are. And if you're thinking about getting one, don't hold back because these fish are absolutely awesome. So as you can see, these fish are a stunning and the colorations on them are just ridiculous. This is one of my favorite cichlids on the planet. And yes, I do have a juvenile right here in this tank. He is right there. You can see the green coloration starting to come in. You can also see the white tip on the rear of his tail. I specifically found this green tear for that reason at my fish store. You're getting fussy, what's the deal? You're getting fussy. Look at the fish, they're awesome. Okay, so taking care of green tears. Uh, they are super easy to take care of. They are South Americans, like I said, so you can keep them with pretty much uh, anything that's semi-aggressive. Uh, all, all the South American cichlids are gonna work. Um, all the generic like community fish like your fish store or your Petco or PetSmart sell is just general community fish like uh, live bears, mollies, platies, garamis, um, um, acaras, just basically anything that's semi-aggressive. Convicts, uh, literally that's what makes the green terror so awesome because you can keep them with so many fish and um, I have a friend that keeps them with angelfish. I told him he might have an issue with it but they're getting along just fine. So uh, as far as tank mates though, uh, be aware that not all fish work out. Even though, you know, it's kind of said that it could work out, it might not. So just be ready to move fish, maybe bring them back to the fish store, etc. So uh, tank mates, uh, tank size, I would, you know, I would keep a 55 gallon tank minimum. And that's, I wouldn't even, I personally wouldn't even do a 55 if, if these fish are grown because Green tears can grow up to eight inches long. I swear I've seen them at 10. But you know, if you got a community tank, 55 gallons is nothing for an eight inch fish. So I would personally go the 75 gallon and above, but uh, 55 is kind of the standard minimum for these fish. Jeez, the piranhas are freaking out. I swear my piranhas are gonna break the glass one day. What are you fussing about? What are you fussing? Hey, hi fish people. I like fish. Okay, so um, tank mates, uh, water temperature, they're tropical fish, obviously, South Americans, so 78 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's take a look at the green terror again, huh? Where's that green terror? Uh, it's a, this is a Texas cichlid, another Texas convict. Where's the green terror? Back there. Oh, and uh, this heater is laying in here because uh, the green, my green tear actually just got ick. He's a couple days old and I'm jumping up the temperature just to kind of get rid of the ick. This is kind of an off topic of taking care of green tears, but this, this, this is just goes to say this does, this does happen. What? What are you fussing about? Uh, fish come with ick all the time. Even I get it. Uh, it's, it's very common. I have a video on treating it. Here, I gotta walk around a little. We gotta get up, we gotta get up, I guess. So yeah, green tears, um, one of my favorite fish, I know I've said it like 70 times. Uh, tank temperature, tank mates, uh, food. Food is a big deal. They are omnivores, um, but you should feed them a protein-rich diet. What, are you tired? Protein-rich diet for pretty much all South American cichlids. I personally feed them uh, Bug bites, the fluval bug bites are good. Uh, one of my favorites because you need a staple, uh, a, a staple pellet to make sure these fish, God, the shadows, make sure the fish are getting the right protein. Uh -huh. Omega-1 is my go-to. And uh, I'll throw links in the description box to these foods if you're interested in. And this is one of my new favorites. I know I've been babbling about this forever. The freeze-dried brine shrimp cube. There's a seller on Amazon that sells these. I'm on the monthly membership that gets sent to my house. This is 100% brine shrimp, people. Jeez, you're just not happy here. You're just, you're fussing during the whole video. People are gonna be sick of it. <clears throat> so yeah, omnivores, protein rich. I usually feed like pellets three days out of the week and the other, 
I will do treats and stuff. So let's find that green terror. There's the green terror. And I know he's a juvenile. Uh, I'll, I'll post another video of that beautiful male here at the end just to keep you enticed in the video because he is astounding, man. Like, I'm obsessed. And uh, shout out to Matt Rush for sending me the video. It's absolutely crazy. So, um, okay, I talked about uh, tank mates, tank temperature, uh, what they eat, uh, light schedule is always key with fish. I always tell people to get a timer. Uh, this is kind of like generic uh, fish keeping, but it's always good to talk about. Uh, get a timer, have the same time schedule every single day. Like try to replicate what the fish are getting if they were in natural habitat. You know, when does the sun come out? Try to replicate it. So uh, do your re regular water changes. Get a water changer if you don't have one. It's a lifesaver. Um, get a good filter if, if you're buying a hang on the back filter don't screw around with some of those crappy brands like the uh, the Walmart ones they're all garbage uh, I would go straight to the aqua clear 110 and don't look back uh, I've learned that if you throw away if you throw away the filter pad and you have to buy new ones that it's a garbage filter because the filter pad is supposed to be reusable so that it colonizes beneficial bacteria Go with the Aquafure 110, just trust me on this. I'll throw a link in the description box. But yeah, the green tear, super easy fish to take care of. It's a very common favorite for like, I don't find a lot of beginners getting into them. I always see like beginners getting into Jack Dempsey's and stuff and they have more problems uh, with aggression because Dempsey's are like the wild card of cichlids, you know. Uh, and green terrors is a more subtle cichlid in my personal opinion and they get you know they have the orange coloration I, I don't know how you can't love the green terror more I don't know Dempsey or green terror it's it's a tough comparison I would probably go with the Dempsey I don't know it, I don't know why the, I just I even just told you I would choose a Dempsey during the green terror video but the green terrors are freaking amazing and it's a very close second to my favorite South American. And I'm a South American guy. Okay, I've been babbling too long. Avery's fussy. You're fussy. Hey. All right, let's 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 show these guys the beautiful male I've been talking about. 